Hi, my name is Brett Jones, and the purpose of this presentation is to discuss a few of the ideas that my colleagues Chloe Ruff and Jason Osborne present in our chapter entitled Fostering Students' Identification with Mathematics and Science, which is in a book titled Interest in Math and Science Learning, published in 2015. First, it's important to understand that domain identification is the degree to which an individual values a domain, such as math or science, as an important part of the self. The purpose of this chapter is to explore how students transition from a short-term situational interest to a more enduring individual interest in which they incorporate performance in math or science into their self-definitions. Part of what we explore is how do students become identified with mathematics and science. At the bottom of this slide, you see the four-phase model of interest development. And the transition where domain identification begins to occur is shown here between situational interest and individual interest. So how do students become identified with a domain? Well, Osborne and Jones presented a model of identification that I've shown here for the domain of science. On the left-hand side, you can see that science identification is preceded by factors such as group membership, family, peer, and community environment, school climate, and formal and informal experiences in science. These factors influence students' science identification, as well as their science goals, beliefs, and self-schemas, which then influence and are influenced by their science choices, effort, and persistence. On the right-hand side of this figure, you can see that these factors affect students' science engagement and academic outcomes, which then loop back to affect other variables in a cyclical manner. Our work has focused mainly on how formal and informal experiences affect students' identification. To examine this, we used variables found in a review of the constructs related to domain identification, which included empowering students, demonstrating the usefulness of academic domains, supporting students' success, triggering and supporting students' interest, and fostering a sense of belongingness. These constructs align well with the five categories of teaching strategies in the music model of academic motivation, empowerment, usefulness, success, interest, and caring. This is good because the music model is a multidimensional model for teachers that categorizes teaching strategies. It uses terms familiar to teachers, such as empowerment, usefulness, success, interest, and caring. It does not create new constructs. Instead, it synthesizes existing research and theories, and it includes students' perceptions of instructions that are malleable and measurable. So what can teachers do to foster domain identification? Well, because the music model strategies can be implemented by teachers, we have assessed students' perceptions of the five music components to determine whether they were related to domain identification. Consequently, our current research focuses on do the music model components predict domain identification and career goals? If so, which components in which context? In one study by Jones, Osborne, Peretti, and Matasovich, published in the International Journal of Engineering Education, we examined whether students' perceptions of the music model components in an engineering course would be related to engineering identification when other important constructs were included in a structural equation model, such as engineering utility, belonging, and expectancy. And we found that all of the music components were statistically related to identification, thus providing support for the idea that the music components can lead to domain identification. In another study, we did something similar with 5th, 6th, and 7th grade students' perceptions of their science class, and we found that only usefulness and success were significantly related to students' science identification. This demonstrates that different components of the music model may be more influential to students' domain identification in some domains at certain ages. Our next steps are to continue to examine questions such as, how is domain identification similar to and different from interest? How does domain identification develop in different domains at different ages? And how can domain identification be used to improve outcomes in various domains? The research I referred to is referenced here. Thanks for your interest, and if you have any questions, please email me at brettdjones at gmail.com or go to my website at www.motivatingstudents.info.